Hello. In this video, we're going to go over how we find the different types of quartiles. For example, we're going to find quartile one, Q1, quartile two, Q2, which is just a fancy way of saying the median, Q3, quartile three. We'll use Q3 and Q1 to find the interquartile range, the IQR. We will use the IQR in another video to find the box plot and the upper and lower fences so we can identify outliers. Um, we will do that in another video. In this video, we are going to strictly uh, focus on Q1, Q2, Q3, and just finding them those values from a data set. In another video, we will go over finding the five important values for the box plot and then create the box plot. All right, so Q1 is the 25% mark. So basically, we know that Q2 is 50%. We know that the data on the Q2, our median, is going to be immediately in the 50%, which means it's greater than 50% of the data. It's less than 50% of the data. Q1 is like that, but for 25, it's only greater than 25% of the data, less than 75% of the data. And Q3 is greater than 75% of the data, less than 25% of the data. These will help us understand what's going on within our data set. So to find Q1, I remember we did added an extra one for that one. So to find Q1 for number one, the first thing we have to do is rewrite everything from least to greatest. That is probably the hardest thing we're gonna have to do, rewrite. Next thing we've gone over in another video is we need to find the median. Once we find the median, we're able to move forward. So let's find the median. We will slowly cancel things out, one on each side, one on each side, until we get to the middle. The median is 52. So our Q2 is 52. Let's do that in a different val or a different color. So we know that this value is our median or our Q2. Cool. So now in order to find the Q1 and Q3, all I'm going to do is take that data that we just took and I'm gonna cut it off at the Q at the Q2. And I'm gonna find the median for those two different values, for the ones on the left side of the, of the Q2 or the median and the right side of the Q2 or the median. So let's rewrite. So let's find now the medians of both of those sections. So the median of the left, we cancel, cancel. We see there are two numbers here. When there are two, we add them and divide it by two, right? We go grab our calculator, which I have here. And we have 42 plus 48 divided by two, 45. So we see our Q1 is equal to 45. Next, let's find Q3. Again, we cancel, cancel. Both of these two numbers the same. When the two numbers are the same, it's safe to, us, it's safe to say that they're both the same. However, it is good and important that we still show our work and why. So Q3 is equal to 54. Beautiful. So we have Q1, Q2, Q3. So we're going to rewrite them all right here. Q1, Q2, Q3, all of our quartiles. We have Q1 is 45, Q2 is 52, Q3 is 54. And then lastly, our IQR is just going to be Q3 minus Q1, which is 54 minus 45 to be equal to 9. That is what the IQR is equal to in that situation. So perfect. We have found our different quartiles and we have found our IQR. Let's do the same for number two. And then another video, we will do the box plot. All right, number two. First thing we need to do is rewrite everything from least to greatest, please. Make our lives significantly easier. And we are almost there. Oh, we are almost there. 75, 77, 78. Perfect. Let us find our median. Cancel them out. So this time I'm going to uh, print this out here below so we don't have to just retype it each time. So we have one, 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 one. And again, if you want to move faster, you can do two on both sides. Just make sure you do the same amount on both sides. Here we go. 71 plus 72 
divided by two is equal to 71.5. So we have just found Q1, I mean, sorry, Q2, because that's our median, which we found in another video. Q2 is strictly equal to 71.5. So now between 71 and 72, we're going to put our line. Now we need to find the median of both those sections, and that's Q1, and that's Q3, respectfully. And that's it. So let's cancel, 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 cancel. We see we have both of them here. We have to add them up. Divide by 2. We have 69.5. And then we do it again over here. Together, 74 plus 75 over 2. We get 74.5. I don't know why I didn't do that in my head. So we know that this is Q1. This is Q3. We're going to label them all out. Q1, Q2, Q3. Q1 is 71.5. Sorry, Q2 is 71.5. Q1 is 69.5. Q3 is 74.5. Our IQR is super easy. It is 74.5 minus 69.5. and we get an IQR of five. Beautiful. So that is how we solve those IQRs and those different quartiles. If you have any questions, please send me a video or send me, send me an email and I'll do another video. Um, and I will be doing a box plot video shortly that will put all of this together. Hope everyone has a great day.